Hi, so in this video we are going to understand these distributive laws of set theory using Venn diagrams, right? So as you can see I have already noted down both the distributive laws. So first we will understand the first one which is A union B intersection C is equal to A intersection C union B intersection C, right? So first let's see what actually the left hand side of the first distributive law tells. So a union B is actually represented by all the elements of set A along with all the elements of set B, right? So the gray portion actually represents A union B. And then we have this intersection C and set C is represented by this green circle, right? So what will be their intersection? So A union B intersection C will actually be this portion which is common between C and A union B. Right? So the portion which I have shaded in chocolate brown color actually represents A union B intersection C. And now let's understand the right hand side of that distributive law. So to understand it better I have drawn two more Venn diagrams. In first diagram we have set A and set C where we will represent A intersection C and in the second Venn diagram we have set B and set C where we will represent B intersection C, right? So which is the portion actually represents A intersection C? A intersection C is actually represented by this portion, right? And B intersection C we will represent in second diagram and it is actually represented by this portion, the portion which is common to both B and C, right? And what will be their union? To find their union, let me overlap these two diagrams. So the area where we have either chocolate brown color or the white slanting lines represent A intersection C union B intersection C, right? And which is nothing but this portion of the first diagram, right? And in right hand side, if we try to see the area which represents A intersection C union B intersection C is actually this area, which is same as the area shaded in chocolate brown color in the first diagram. Right? So this was the explanation of the first distributive law using Venn diagrams. And now let's try and understand the second distributive law. Second distributive law says A intersection B union C is actually equal to A union C intersection B union C. Right? So what is A intersection B? A intersection B is the overlapping area of ellipse A and ellipse B. Right? So the area which I have shaded in blue color actually represents A intersection. Right? And what is set C? Set C is over here. This is set C. So the union of A intersection B and C will actually be represented by this whole area. Right? The area which I have shaded in light green actually represents A intersection B union C. And let's understand what actually right hand side of the law says. So to understand it, I have to draw two more Venn diagrams. These are the two more Venn diagrams and here we will represent A union C in the first Venn diagram. A union C is this portion, right? And then we have to represent B union C in the second Venn diagram and that we will represent using lines. So B union C is actually represented by this area, right? This is B union C. And what is their intersection? To find the intersection what we have to do? We have to overlap these two Venn diagrams and the area where we can find both blue shades and these white lines will actually represent their intersection, right? So let's do that. So this is the intersection of A union C and B union C and what is the area which actually represent intersection? The area which actually represent intersection is this. The portion where we find both blue shade and the white lines. So this is actually the area which represents A union C intersection B union C, right? And it is nothing but the same area which I have shaded in light green in the left Venn diagram, right? So this was the explanation of distributive laws using Venn diagrams. We are learning this because we are going to use these laws and theories in the probability which I am taking next. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.